Um, I certainly want to be on the winning side, don't you? Yeah. Now I realize a number of you are sad today because your teams, your sports teams this weekend didn't win thus far. Some of their sports, major sports teams games today, so some of you still got to go through that. But uh, West Virginia played a good game, played a good game, could just as easily have won, so don't, don't grieve too much. Yeah. Um, yeah. But those victories eight. are great in the sports arena, and the victories in your jobs and so forth are great, but uh, uh, when it comes to the ultimate victory over death, that's, uh, that's the most important thing. Want, uh, want to be on the winning side of that one, and I hope you do as well. Uh, I'm sure that Dr. Martin Luther King, uh, uh, who will celebrate tomorrow in his cause, uh, for civil rights. Uh, I'm sure that Victory in Jesus was a good, popular song for him, a very, very much uh, one that he, I'm sure, enjoyed. Well, we are 17 days into the new year, and I'm wondering, how's those New Year's resolutions working for you? Maybe you didn't make any New Year's. New Year's resolutions. I have never been one to make New Year's resolutions. I haven't got into that practice. I make resolutions. I make decisions about something I will or will not do on a daily basis. Um, and some are pretty serious uh, about what I'm going to do with my life and my time. And uh, uh, so I, I do take resolutions seriously. I feel that some of the New Year's resolutions and this whole practice of uh, getting into making those and is sometimes taken too lightly and it's just kind of flip and not really serious. Um, but resolutions are important. Uh, the health clubs and health spas love January because business skyrockets during that month when the reality of all the old reading of Thanksgiving Christmas began to appear on the human body and there began to be bulges in the belly and other areas which leads to New Year's resolutions about health and fitness which often leads to January's workouts and memberships in the clubs. But our New Year's resolution, revolu, res, not revolution, resolutions also cover many other areas of life as well as physical fitness. And concerning our school goals, our education goals, job intentions and job situations, uh, our spiritual development, our walk with God. So uh, they cover a lot of areas. But unfortunately, researchers tell us that 88%, 88% of our New Year's resolutions don't happen. <laughs> they, they never come. Um, and, and that's, uh, if, you're, if you are halfway serious about them, that's uh, frustrating. Um, I want to say, first of all, that the making of resolutions uh, is a biblical practice. It is biblical. Uh, not that someone said, well, I'm making this resolution. But the word, the root word, resolve, uh, is emphasized and is used readily. For example, the great King David in Psalm 17.3 said, I have resolved that my mouth will not sin. Uh, there's a lot of folks, maybe a lot of us, that could make that resolution and need to make that resolution because sometimes uh, we are using language that's just not decent and nice. And our, certainly our culture <laughs> is bad when it comes to language. Uh, but David um, made this resolution. Uh, it's, a, it's a difficult one, to be sure, because the tongue is a wild animal, but the Scripture says, who can tame it? It's full of deadly poison and um, evil. So it's, it's not an easy thing to conquer, but David took it serious, and he resolved that he would focus on this, and he would not allow his mouth to be speaking things sinful. Daniel 1.8, one of the great leaders of the old days, Daniel resolved not to defile himself with the royal food and wine. David and his people had been captured by a foreign country. Daniel was a young man, was hauled off with many of his young companions. 
they were indoctrinated into the ways and culture of those of that foreign nation, and uh, they were offered the best of the land because that country wanted to develop them into leaders in their society. And the problem for Daniel was that he knew enough of the teaching of God, the one true Almighty God, that many of these uh, food items, prior to being eaten, consumed, they were offered, they were desecrated, uh, consecrated to some false deity, some idol. And he didn't want to be associated with any kind of a pagan practice. And so he resolved that he would rather eat hot dogs than filet mignon. And you have to admire a young man who will make that choice. And maybe it was just roadkill, maybe it wasn't even hot dogs. <laughs> but he's not going to eat the royal food because it has been donated, designated, uh, set aside in honor of some false god. And uh, you have to admire that. But he made that resolution. 1 Corinthians 2, 2, the great apostle Paul declared, I resolved to know nothing while I was with you except Jesus Christ and Him crucified. Now it wasn't that he didn't have a lot of other things to teach. He did. And he, we, we have it in the New Testament. Most of the New Testament he has written. He taught us about a lot of things. But what he was saying there that in comparison to the emphasis that he would have upon the death of Jesus, the death and resurrection of Jesus, everything else would pale in comparison. But this was going to be the thrust of his message. And I had tried to do the same thing. But he made a resolution that I'm going to keep the death of Jesus. Jesus died for me. Paul never got over that. And neither should we. I'm going to keep the death and resurrection of Jesus at the center of my message. And, uh, and that was his resolution. Now, when we make resolutions, whether at New Year's or some other time in our life, we generally are very sincere. I think a lot of us are sincere. We, we want to improve. We want to grow. We want to develop in this area, that area. So we set, we set out with goals and dreams and we make resolutions, whether verbally and out there in the Everyone's an I or just within ourselves. We want to be healthier. We want to be physically fit. We, we want to spend more time with our family. So a lot of resolutions will be, will be uh, couched in that terminology. We want to get out of debt. Always a big issue for a lot of folks. Getting crippled in, in debt. Want to get out of debt. Want to do better in school want to clean out the junk in our houses, our attics, our garages, uh, our basements. We Americans just have all kinds of clutter. I hear it all the time. Boy, we need to clean that out. We need to clean that out. Some resolutions have to do with getting our things 